In this video, let us look into identity laws of sets. The reason why we are calling it identity laws of sets are because we'll be using two important identities in sets. One is uh, the empty set and another one is a universal set. Well, empty set is represented by this symbol phi and the universal set is represented by capital U. So that is what the two identity sets are. So let's see what are the identity laws of sets. The identity laws of sets are let's say there is a set A. So A union of an empty set is going to give you A, right? Say we've got a set A which is 1, 2, 3 and then at the same time we've got an empty set which is just, you know, empty. The unison of both of them will still be A, right? A union of phi is still going to be 1, 2, 3 because every particular set, every given set has got an empty set in itself. So that is what it is. Another one is, this is, let's call it the first one. Let's The second one would be A intersection of universal set. All right. Just to, just to make this U look a little different from the symbol of union, let me write it as a U like this. All right. So A intersection of union is A itself. All right. How? Let's take an example. Let's say we have U, which is equal to, say, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And say, let's say A is 1, 2, 3. Because you know that whenever there is a universal set involved, that's going to be the superset of all the other sets. So A is naturally going to be a subset of the universal set. Otherwise, there's no talking about the universal set at all. So if you do A intersection U, here it is nothing but both the sets, that is the set A and set A, having the same thing is called as the A intersection of U, right? So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, which is still equal to A. So that's why A intersection of the universal set is also A, right? So these are the two identity laws of sets, which are uh, pretty simple and um, It'll really help if you can get yourself familiarized with these two laws. It's going to save a lot of time while we solve a lot of problems based on sets, all right? So before I conclude this video, let me quickly tell you that A union of an empty set is A and A intersection of a universal set is also set A itself. All right, so that ends this video. I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with more concepts, more laws uh, of sets, in fact. So the next thing is going to be commutative law of sets. So that's what we're going to do in the next video.